Hi, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe Highlander. Now starting at the front, I'm going to walk you through the full condition and some of the actual features of the vehicle. The front end, you can see that beautiful chrome grille that does contrast quite nicely with the black paintwork. We've also got the front parking sensors integrated into the front bumper. It is a subtle look but it looks, it does help you with your parking very significantly. Now just under the headlights here you do get, actually get a washer so that will actually pop out and wash your headlights if visibility becomes a little bit difficult. Under here as well you've got your fog lights, indicators and the daytime running lamps just around um, that system. So a great, great front end setup and in terms of condition the front end does present beautifully so very very well looked after. There's actually not much wear and tear on the front end at all that I need to point out. If we have a look at the first wheel here it is in pristine condition that wheel is completely unmarked there's still plenty of tread in those tires as well something i will point out before we move on there is actually a side indicator there as well sorry a side parking sensor as well so if you are parking you can detect the edges of the, your vehicle quite easily now being a black car you would expect to see any kind of imperfections and damage on the paintwork but the side does present beautifully you have got the uh, color matched side mirrors this sleek indicator and the uh, chrome door handles as well. Now keyless entry means when you press that button there it does lock your car and fold your mirrors in. Pressing it again will unlock it and fold it back out. There is also a, um, a side light there just to light up the ground underneath the car and increase your visibility, help you see the car at night and what you're doing. Now on the inside as you can see you have got the leather seats, beautiful condition on that leather so very very well looked after and very minimal wear there as well. Along the door there is minimal scuffing where people tend to get a bit lazy and kick them open and overall that the driver's side which does get the most amount of wear does present really well. Now I'd highly recommend you do take advantage of the darkest legal window tint we have on offer. It is a premium tint and it will match the front to the back and you do get the UV and heat reduction benefits of the tint as well. Now that next wheel once again, plenty of tread there on the tyres and beautiful condition on the wheel itself, that face is completely unmarked. Now making our way along to the back of the vehicle now, as you can see high mounted stoplight there, rear wiper and even the back end condition is in actually very very well looked after again. Now being the Highlander you do get an electric tailgate so just pressing that button once will open up your tailgate and if you have a look in the inside you've got the the cargo liner just in there you've got a genuine set of mats and being the seven seater there are two seats hiding under there as well. You've got a cargo blind just up here and you have actually got rear air conditioning controls uh, on the right hand side there too. Now guys something I will point out being the Highlander and being the seven seater there is actually a lever there if you pull that it does lay your middle row seats down flat as well. On the back here that button there on the tailgate will actually close it up so you just press that and walk away and your tailgate will close up for you. On the passenger side now being a black car obviously I do get the privilege of being very very picky for you so just there there is couple of very slight marks but nothing really too major at all. You've got the fuel filler cap on the passenger side and that next wheel. This side does quite get quite often get the most amount of scratches being parked next to the curb but that's actually in remarkable condition with only one mark on it which is very superficial. Now making our way along the side of the vehicle once again very well looked after, beautiful condition of the paintwork and very consistent from front to back. That next wheel again a couple of very slight marks but nothing too major at all. Still plenty of tread in those tyres as well. Guys, as you can see, front to back, the vehicle is consistently beautiful con condition, very well looked after and obviously very carefully driven. What we're going to do now is actually pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Alright guys, taking a look under the bonnet now, what we have is a 2.2 litre turbo diesel engine. It is a four cylinder with a six speed automatic gearbox. And cap safety rating, especially if you are buying this car for the family, it is important to know that it is five stars and it has got seven airbags. Now, the power output from the engine is 145 kilowatts with a torque rating of 436 newton meters. The diesel fuel tank holds about 64 liters, giving you a combined fuel consumption of about 7.3 liters per 100 and an average fuel distance, depending on your driving style, of about 877 kilometers from a full tank. Guys, what we're going to do now is just jump inside and have a look at the inside. 
taking a look inside the Santa Fe now. I do apologize if it is a little bit dark, the sun is going down at the moment. But on the driver's side door here, starting just here, you do get the power window control. So front driver's side is automatic up and down. Above that, you've got your central locking buttons and just a little further up is a toggle for your power mirrors. So if it is an auto, that will fold the mirrors in when you lock the car. Otherwise, you've got the option to keep them permanently open or permanent or just close them manually. Just up here on the door again, you've got two seat presets, so that will actually change your seating position and mirror position depending on who's driving. On the right hand side here, you've got active eco, so you can save a little bit of fuel with that option. You've also got your lane keeping, center diff lock, stability control, and your downhill descent control. You've also got the brightness control for your cluster. On the right hand stalk, you've got your indicators, fog lights, high beams, and your automatic headlight controls on the left hand side here you've got your washer and wiper controls the wipers are also rain sensing so they'll come on when they need to on the right hand side here you've got cruise control with your steering modes you can check, switch between sports comfort and normal for your steering uh, you've also got the menu and media controls uh, just down here plus more media controls and hands-free functions on the left now moving into the center display oh quickly we'll have a look in the mirror you do get a little uh, um, what do you call compass up in the mirror so it, we are currently pointing east and that all change depending where you are pointing now if you put the car into reverse as you can see you can see the rear bumper there so it makes it very very easy when you are backing up You've got Bluetooth functionality plus your standard radio options and for those of you who still like CDs you can actually use CDs in this car now down here you've got the hard buttons for your radio even though it is uh, touchscreen and then your climate control down here as well dual zone climate control means passenger and driver both get the choice of their own temperatures down here again very well illuminated with all the blue um, lighting you do get an AUX and USB input there you've also got two 12 volt sockets just above that plus plenty of storage if you wanted to keep your phone now the front seats are actually heated but they are cooled as well so you get ventilated options there so great for summer and winter You've also got your parking sensors and your park assist so the car can actually park itself if you wanted to if you are not conf confident enough to park it in a certain spot now putting it into drive you can drive it as a standard auto or bump it to the left into sports mode and control your gears manually if you wish there is an electric park brake here as well got two cup holders in that center console when you open it up there is a tray just in there plus plenty of storage it's a little bit hard to see at the moment but yeah plenty of storage in there and uh if I just put the interior lights on, as you can see, just on the roof, you do get a fully panoramic sunroof. So, awesome for letting extra light in. And when you open up the front half as well, it is, it is great, especially if it is a nice day outside. You can let more light in. Hey guys, I'm not going to spend too long in the condition on the inside because it does present really, really well. Very, very well looked after. But... What we're going to do now is actually jump outside uh, before we do just under the passenger door at the back to actually get heated seats for the back seat passengers which is awesome to know um, especially if you are taking people in the back you've also got a blind on the window which does pull up so if you did have a car seat in the back you can keep your kids nice and cool guys what we're going to do is jump outside and wrap up the video guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful hyundai santa fe as you can see with the headlights and those daytime running lamps already lit up it is an incredible look beautiful vehicle and a great option for your family now something i'd highly recommend you do talk to us about considering how good the paintwork is is the glass coat that is going to give you an additional warranty on your paintwork and it is going to keep it looking this incredible for as long as you have it now the other option we've got for you which this car actually does qualify for is the premium mechanical protection plan it does cover you for an extra five years up to 200,000 kilometers with unlimited claims and three thousand six hundred dollars per claim and 10 years of premium roadside assistance it's a great way to keep your car protected now it is an additional cost however if you are using our in-house finance Julia Mario would love to tailor a package to suit your needs, show you just how marginal the actual change in your repayment is going to be with those protective options in there. Before I go, you need to look at our Google reviews as well. Let's Google Beric Mitsubishi and have a read through what people have to say about us because you will find that you are dealing with the right dealership buying a good quality vehicle and we are going to look after you from start to finish. If you have any questions or concerns at all, please do not hesitate to call us on 9907055. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.